So look, bro. Another court TV, not court TV, but another court reaction. If y'all on this channel, subscribe to this channel. Make sure y'all hit the notification bells, bro. I know y'all be in the comments like, hey, bro, I hit the notification. I mean, I'm subscribed to the channel, but I don't get the video unless it's... Notification is just like a text message, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you subscribe to the channel, boom. When you subscribe to a channel, you get on YouTube. That's the channel that you subscribe to. You will see it right there on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Because you subscribe to it. But when you got the notification bells on, every time I upload a video, you will get a text through your phone, like a notification through your phone, like a text message, you know what I'm saying? That's the difference, if y'all didn't know, bro. But these videos right here, I decided to do another one. Because I'm not going to lie, I like the last one. And it's like, I tell y'all all the time, people with authority think they got, <laughs> they think they got authority over everybody like they better than everybody else, bro. And you see that with the police, you see that with the judge, obviously. And I'm going to be 100, I'm not no, hey, ghost, you be snitching? No, I don't snitch, bro. But at the same time, I'm happy he got caught up. And this how it is, bro. If you from the streets, you allowed to tell on the police. So therefore, I would have, like I said in that last one, I would have went home. Played that card on them, but I would have reversed it so quick. Like, yeah, I scared. Look, I fear for my life. You know what I'm saying? I thought they was going to start shooting up inside the court. So I walked out. And that's a good explanation. They cannot say I was trying to escape. They do it to us. So when you see two black people arguing, everybody gonna leave. We understand why they left, because they was about to go ahead and woofy 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 woof. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, I ain't finna hold y'all no longer. Just that uh that court cam. We're now in the El Paso County Courthouse in El Paso, Texas. All right. She already crying. <laughs> She know whatever she there for for to go to seated. jail for real. The record should reflect the attorneys for the state, the attorneys for the accused, the accused are present in the courtroom. The, the man you see here is 41-year-old Daniel Viega. If y'all already been in court before, bro, it's not like actually a no affidavit or nothing like that, but for some reason. You always got somebody sitting up there with the defendant giving them a massage. I'm not lying. Y'all can look at that in real life. Y'all can look on TVs. They always getting a massage. Like, this is the last massage you finna ever get that's not for somebody that's trying to, who want to go to jail and get a massage? That's kind of sus. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. He's Accused of killing two teens in 1993, oh, it's a he was just 16. It's a At that you. time, without an attorney or his parents present, Viegas says he was coerced by an El Paso detective into confessing to the murders. So he'd been in jail that whole time? Hours later, it became a key piece of evidence for the prosecution. The court has received a message from the jury indicating that they've reached a verdict. Viegas has been on trial three separate times for this crime and has maintained his innocence throughout. So if he kept losing, That's why he getting me? His first trial in 1994 ended in a mistrial due to a hung jury. A 19 Hung jury, mistrial. If y'all don't know what that is, bro. That's, you know how they got a jury of 12. When people say, I'd rather be uh, just by 12 than carry by six, they mean, you know what I'm saying? You hear gangsters talk about it all the time. You hear rappers talk about it. They mean, bro. I'm going to keep that pistol on me, bro. I'd rather be judged by 12 and carried by 6, meaning, like, bro, I'm going to kill whoever tried to murder, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to have to go to jail, go to court, and deal with them 12 jurists that try to, you know what I'm saying, dictate my life. And when they say judged by 6, it's the pallbearers. How you got three on one end, three on the other end, carrying your casket out to the, you know what I'm saying? Just for the people that don't know, I know a lot of y'all like ghosts. We already know this. But I promise you, it's a lot of people up here that don't know that. But what I was about to say in this hung jury case, bro, it can be, it's 12 jurors. Everybody can all, look, 11 of them can say guilty. One of them can say not guilty. That's hung jury. That's a mistrial. Everybody got to agree for the same, for some reason, everybody got to <coughs> agree on the same verdict or it's going to be a mistrial, bro. 
it's not no majority rules and none of that. If it's one bad apple, it messes up the whole, you know what I'm saying? And they could be up in there for six hours, 10 hours, two days trying to think of a verdict, three days trying to think of, you know what I'm saying? That's what happened in you know? 1995 retrial ended with a conviction for capital murder. Vegas was sentenced life. to life in prison. Yeah, capital murder is life. After spending 18 years in prison, Parole. that verdict was thrown out in 2013 because of ineffective assistance of counsel. Vegas was released in January of 2014 and has remained out on bond as he awaited a third trial. They trying to get During him. During that time, he fathered two children. Though the prosecution continued to insist on his guilt, there was no DNA, no firearm, and no forensic evidence presented linking Viegas to the shooting. If the defendant will please stand. Within moments, he'll find out if he goes home with his family. They gonna hold him, they holding him up the just in case he faints. In prison. In the District Court of El Paso County, Texas, 409th Judicial District, the state of Texas versus Daniel Viegas, Number 94009328. Verdict form B. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daniel Viegas, not guilty. Of oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God, bro. When I be telling y'all I'm emotional, nigga, and I wear my emotions on my sleeve, bro, that would have been me right there. Nigga, you just got off with a double murder. Not even got off because he spent 18 years. After that, he's family. What? Not what? That emotion is on 10, bro. People mess up. It happened when he was 16. Whether he did it on purpose or he did it on accident. Bro was only 16. And he still paid his debt to society. At 16 years old, you do 18 years. He's 41 now. I'm not here to say that he'd been living his whole life as an outstanding citizen after that. I'm not here to say that. But like I said, he got two kids, bro. He ain't been in trouble after the... He found not guilty. And it's the law. If we talk... Hey, the law said he not guilty, so, bro... He... he bro, damn. For the first time since he was 16 years old, 25 years ago, mm. Daniel Viegas is a free man. Mr. Viegas, you have been under many conditions uh, in this court. You are no longer under any conditions. Oh in my this God! Court. You are free to leave. Good luck, to you, sir. Walk out of court. Get your ass in that car. Hey, yo. Oh, bro. Now we head to Cleveland, Ohio. To oh, the Cuyahoga County man. Common Pleas Court for the sentencing of convicted serial here. killer Michael Madison. Madison's been convicted on three counts of aggravated murder for the killing and mutilation of three young women in Ohio. As oh, part of the well. hearing, Van Terry, the father of one of Madison's victims, steps up to the podium to make a victim impact statement. Mr. Terry's now just a few feet away from the man who so brutally took the life of his daughter, Sherelda. Right now, I guess we're supposed to, in our hearts, forgive this clown. Who's touched our families, taking my child. He's looking directly at Madison. Yeah! 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 What would you do if that nigga killed your daughter and he's standing right here, bro? Come on. Go ahead and spin. Go ahead and spin that 48 out. Hold on. This is a little ad. I'm about to skip this. Okay, I got your W-2s. Just a few more Who's questions. That? Yeah, go ahead and spin that 48 hours in jail, bro. Go ahead and spin that 48 hours in jail, bro. That's all he gonna get for attacking that dude up in open court. You know what I'm saying? Van Terry is released without charges. Exactly. Short time later. Come on, man. What judge, police officer, who, DA, who want to go, who going to try to bring up charges on him, bro? Put your man, put yourself in that man's shoes. You know what I'm saying? This dude killed his daughter. He's standing right there. I hopped over the counter, bro. Do not charge him for that. He didn't kill three people. We ain't finna give him no justice. He assaulted me. What are y'all going to do? Nothing, bro. What you mean? You didn't, you didn't get three people. Three feet. 
Everybody know a female, and I say this all the time, bro. I tell my sisters this. I tell, I say this all the time. I don't care how hard you females be trying to act. I don't care. Oh, I can do it. Ain't no female out there stronger than a woman. That man knew he can go ahead and easily subdue them females and do whatever he wanted to, like, to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, be. It's a scary world for you. <laughs> scary world for these females out here. We not finna give him no justice, man. So what? Well, his daddy tried to beat him up. Your County oh, Judge man. Nancy McDonald hands down Madison's sentence. Michael Madison is sentenced to death. Exactly. He will now live on Ohio's death row. Scratch it. We start things off at the Russell and Wayne County's family court in Kentucky for a hearing on a domestic violence order filed by a husband against his ex-wife. You and the respondent were married in the past and have children in common, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And were the statements you made in your petition true and correct at that time? Yes, Your Honor. Are you willing to make those statements part of your sworn testimony here today? Yes, Your Honor. And are you that asking gotta be the court the worst, to enter an order bro. restraining the respondent from any contact with you? Yes, Your Honor. I've taken your statement. It's fine. I, I think it is so crazy how people can be so much in love, you know what I'm saying? Weddings, honeymoons. Going through hard times, spending y'all good times together, having kids together, out of all that, and then you're gonna have the court decide on what y'all should do with y'all family, bro. That is so weak to me. That is weak to me. You got y'all. If you laid up with somebody and used to be in love with somebody and have kids with somebody, if you used to be married to them, bro, it's no reason y'all can sit down and talk about what y'all gonna do with y'all kids. Instead of having the court decide what y'all gonna do with y'all kids, bro, that is so weak to me and just weak. It's in your petition as part of your testimony, but I need you to tell me briefly, in your own words, what happened to cause you to ask for a domestic violence order? Yes, Your Honor. Um, <clears throat> things have been escalating, I guess, since the first of the year, and uh, Melissa's had a couple MIWs and a couple uh, arrests, and she got out of jail in, I guess, April. And she started domestic violence. I'm not saying it's about trying to put no man down at all, bro. But um if you with a woman and you can't control your household in some form or fashion, that's kinda your fault, you know what I'm saying? You the breadwinner, you, know, you pay the bills around there. You daddy, bro. You make sure everything stay in motion on the regular, on the daily. With that being said, you make sure your woman is taken care of. You make sure she happy. You make sure the kids happy. If all that is 100, things shouldn't get to this point. But for you crazy females out there, bro, we can do all that and y'all still want to bring us to this point. That's why I am so scared to get married. You know what I'm saying? Situations, marriages and relationships, is it's just crazy how you can be in love with somebody and then just hate them so much. I, that is, was it fake at that point? Like, Love is a strong word, but I guess, let me tell y'all this. And again, I'm not putting female down, for you females down at all. But when you look at relationships, that love word when it come to men, we value on that. Yeah, we fuck up sometimes, y'all mess up too. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by value that. When you look at all divorces, it can go from regular civilians to entertainer, celebrity, or whatever. It's always the female that wants the divorce. She's the one that always want to opt out the contract type. You know what I'm saying? We going to deal with it. We try to get through with it. You, whatever be going through y'all little, we end up here. <laughs> we end up right here. She started, we hadn't really had anything personal up until that point. She got out of jail in April. And she started... My personal life is no, no. business. It has nothing to do with Ms. Hardwick, 
No. You will be held in contempt of this court if you I become don't, disruptive. I don't care. I haven't done anything to this court. I haven't done anything to okay. him. She will be arrested for contempt any, of court. It doesn't make any difference. You will serve uh, 10 days for contempt of court. Wow. You go now. Whoa! Watch out, bro! Slammed her. Slammed her. The deputy did that on purpose just to show the judge, like, I got your back. You didn't even have to slam her like that, bro. You bitch, wait and see. Oh, she was ready, bro. After spending you gonna give me 10 days? months in jail, Melissa Hardwick pleads guilty to intimidating a participant in a legal process. She avoids any further jail time by agreeing to a court-ordered diversion or rehabilitation she was program ready. for five years. Like I said, she's the reason they there. <laughs> I promise you, bro. All you was doing, she talking, she said, be quiet. This ain't the streets. Judges don't be caring. Y'all seen the last one when he caught that fade with the DA. You know what I'm saying? She gave her 10 days. Not me. Rushed her. <laughs> the emergency protective order will remain in place of no contact. He raised my right hand and he put up the middle finger with his left hand. He came to court with an agenda. <laughs> He's done unconstitutionally. He's all took my kids unrightfully. You won't allow my witnesses here. Mm. You won't allow my paperwork. Y'all took all my court paperwork. I know everybody probably think he up there capping. It may shut up. But at the same time, I believe him. I don't care what nobody say. I believe him. The court be trying to do people. Just because you locked up, you ain't got no lawyer. As soon as you walk up in there. With a public defender and not a paid lawyer, they already looking at you like you a nobody. Bro, you couldn't even, this is your life on the line. You couldn't even afford a lawyer for your life. You got the public defender, the dudes that go to court with the judge that's right there trying to try. Yeah. He probably got a public defender. They did him, but he know his rights. He looked like he been there for like a few times. Y'all deny my witnesses, my pay. Well, I believe him, bro. I do. We haven't started the trial yet. It doesn't matter. You still... Uh -huh. You and the bitch that took my kids. Holly, make sure you take down what I said. He was sworn in. No, I was not sworn in. He was not sworn in. He, sworn he was in. not sworn in. Sworn in. He didn't he put his right up. hand up. Exactly. That being said, he was not sworn in. I need to know whether or not you want to be here during the trial process. No. Let him know. Do you want to testify? Though? No, I don't. This is all being done unconstitutionally. Do you want to be in the room or not? Do you want to? Oh, yeah, yeah, you about to go to I court. I prefer not to, sir. Well, yeah. we got a mouth for it. You want to be here or not? <laughs> oh, who the f*** wants to sit here while you take their kids? This is a conflict of interest. Every f***ing right y'all supposedly have you violated. Gotta get some water, please. I got a lot more custom to do what I need to do. <laughs> My guy been there for a minute. Y'all have to give him water, bro. They have to give him water, bro. They have to give him water. They do. The woman being sworn in is 18-year-old Keandria Cook. Cook's in court today to receive a sentence for using a dating app to set up a robbery that ended with another teen being shot. The teen survived. Back page. Cook has accepted a Only plea fans. Deal that will drop a conspiracy charge, which carried a maximum penalty of life in prison, but counts of carjacking, attempted carjacking with a deadly weapon, and felony battery. She's still finna get 15 still years. Right, still finna get 15 on, years. You get to say the final words. She, oh, if she underage, she ain't gonna get that time. But she over 18, they finna throw the book at her. I just wanna say that. I'm sorry. Could have been wrong. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Not for the start this. 
you smoke knew what was gonna happen. Uh, this is crazy to me, bro. Everybody that do a crime, everybody that's in jail and every prison out here in the world, when they do the crime, 95% of them thought they wasn't gonna get caught. You know what I'm saying? She the same way. She didn't feel no sympathy for this boy before when she was setting him up. She didn't do it by herself. She was with some other dudes. The other dudes had her set that dude up on that day nap. She didn't feel no sympathy. Like, dang, we finna go rob him or jack him. The people that she was with, she knew they had guns on them. She didn't feel no sympathy then. But now when you get caught up in court, I'm sorry for the moms and um, you are. No. Throw the book at her ass, bro. <laughs> I didn't even know what's going on until I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Right place. Right. You set it up. And it was premeditated. No. No. You're not going to finish school. We, even if we do, let you go. Proud. You don't care about making your mama proud. I'm going to be her first child to bring home high school diploma. Oh, 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 it's, it's a lot of y'all that ain't got one. <laughs> now you want to cry. You don't want to make your mama proud. You just don't have now nothing else to say. To her <laughs> You're so finna go to jail. Let's look on. Throw the book at her ass. Before the court for sentencing, a couple of things uh, going in your favor. One, you didn't hold the firearm during these episodes. Mm -hmm. The second is that um, the victim uh, still not going home. That being said, this was uh, intentional. There was an orchestrated ambush, and you are a main part of that. Premeditated. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and adjudicate you guilty of all three charges, mm -hmm. sentence you to 20 years in state Ooh. prison. 20 years. Concurrent as to the first. 20 years. You out of there. coming from Cook's mother. You out of there. Sentence much more severe you than they expected. Look at her. Yeah, that part. Like I tell y'all, when even we be watching Beyond Scare Straight, that one crime that wants to all you young fools out here that think y'all out there moving and stepping on shit, y'all not ready for that, bro. To all you young fools that's out there think y'all moving, stepping, putting in work, y'all not ready for that 20 years, bro. I promise you, my nigga, you not ready for that 20 years. You not ready for that 20 years. You not ready for that 20 years, little nigga. I'm telling you. Now, bro, you not ready. Y'all not it turns ready out for that. that. And her mother's reactions were so intense because they believed the plea deal meant no prison time. Judge Foxman allows her to enter a new plea deal, citing miscommunication between Cook and the assistant public defender. As a result of that new deal, Cook's sentence is reduced to 11 years in prison. Oh, oh! Don't think that's gonna happen to y'all. Go, she said, "I'm not ready for 20 years." Well, she got 11. I think you ain't ready for 11 either, Nick. You're not ready for that either. She got 11 years. She's probably gonna do nine and a half and get out. Y'all not ready for that 20 years, bro. Chill, chill. <laughs> Charges assault and resisting. You have the public. Where Rumpel's. public defender Andrew Weinstock and his client are appearing before Judge John. Oh, okay, we seen this. But uh, yeah, that's it, bro. I'm gonna catch you on the next reaction. Uh, yeah, y'all be cool like y'all like to be cool. Subscribe to my channel. Notification. No, I'm just playing. Ghost Gang merch link in the description. Um, yeah, recipes King Nipsey. I'm gonna get that y'all next time. DJ Ghost 100.